How many of you are aware that we can create intelligent selections in AutoCAD? In this video, I am going to talk about the filter command. Filter command can be used to filter out those objects based on the conditions specified by the user. In this drawing, I have a number of lines, circles, arcs and rectangles and it's all messed up. From this clutter, if I want to select only circles, I'll find it a bit difficult. This is where I can make use of the filter command. So I'll type filter using the keyboard and you will get object selection filter dialog box. In this dialog box, this area is empty because presently I haven't specified any conditions. The conditions which you specify will appear over here. And here I have a pop-up from which I can select any desired condition. So in this context, I want to select all those objects which are circles. So just select a circle and click on add to list button. So this condition is added, object is equal to circle. And I want to apply this condition to the entire objects on the screen. So click on apply button. It will ask you to select the objects. I'll give all. I want to apply this condition to all the objects on the screen and the software will filter out those objects based on the condition specified. Now I can just give an enter. So you will see the selection retained on the screen. How will you make use of the selection? Immediately after the filter command, you have to give an editing command. But normally when you give an editing command like erase, trim, move, copy, etc. You will get select object prompt. But in this case, since you have already made a selection, you won't get that prompt anymore. Now, let's give an editing command. For example, I want to move these circles through a distance of 500 units rightward. So I'll select move from the ribbon. Now, no more select object prompt. Why? That's because the move command has identified all those selected circles. Now, it'll ask you for the base point. I'll pick somewhere over here. I'll keep my cursor in the rightward direction and I'll give a distance of 500. Now the circles got moved. See, you have saved a lot of time and effort in making selections using filter. Another interesting point is you can nest or group conditions in filter command. Here I have created a layer called special and kept some of the circles in the special layer. If I want to select all those circles which are kept in the special layer that can also be done using the filter command. Let's try that. So I'll give filter. In the condition list, I'm going to add one more condition that is a property based condition. So I'll select layer. Okay, then you will get select button here. Just click on that. You will get select layer dialog and select the special layer and just give okay. And click on add to list. So you have added one more condition that is layer is equal to special. Now just apply this condition to the entire objects on the screen. So I'll give all to apply this condition to all the objects and the software has selected only those objects which are circles and kept in the special layer. I would like to change the color of these circles. So I'll click on control one to get the properties panel and I'll select the color. I'll choose for example this green color so the color of the circle got changed. Just press escape to deselect. Next I'll add one more condition to this list. But this time this condition is a logical condition. How would I specify such a logical condition? Let's see that. So I'll go to filter again and you can see the first two conditions here and I'm going to add my third condition. That is, I want to select all those circles which are having radius less than or equal to 200 units. So you just go to circle radius and you just click on this pop-up to see various logical conditions like equal to, not equal to, less than, less than or equal to, etc. So I'll click on less than or equal to and I'll type the value that is 200 units. Okay, add this condition to the condition list. I have added it and apply this condition to the entire objects on the screen. So I'll give all. Now only this particular unique circle satisfies all the three conditions I have specified. Now you can edit the circle the way you want. 
Another good news is that filter command can be given as a transparent command. I'll explain the concept of transparent command if you are not familiar with it. Transparent commands are those commands you can use while you are in the middle of another command. If you start the command with a single quotation mark, it can be given transparently. Not all commands in AutoCAD are transparent. I'll give you some examples of transparent commands in AutoCAD. You can just go through this list to get an idea about some of the transparent commands in AutoCAD and you can see that the filter can be given as a transparent command. So let's try that. I want to erase all the arcs from this drawing. So I can very well use filter command to select all the arcs. But before I give filter, I'll start with erase command. So I'll select erase from the ribbon. When I'm asked to select objects, I'll give filter transparently. So I should start with a single quotation mark. Then I'll type filter. Now I have got the object selection filter dialog box on the screen. In the screen, you can see all the previous conditions which you have specified. Now I have two choices. I can either delete these conditions and specify a new condition right from the beginning or else I can edit an existing condition and specify a new condition. We will do exactly that. To start with, I'll erase the first two conditions. So I'll select the first condition and click on delete second one and click on delete. Now I'm going to edit this condition in such a way that that will get converted to the new condition. So I'll click on edit item. Then I'll select the new condition, which is arc. So instead of circle, I should select arc. So I'll go to arc and I'll click on substitute. So AutoCAD has substituted the new condition in the place of the previous condition. Now I'll just apply this condition to all the objects on the screen. I'll give all. Now all the objects got highlighted. That means all the arcs got highlighted. Just give an enter to erase the arcs. This is how the concept of selection filters works in AutoCAD. Hope you will make the best use of this simple but beautiful feature while you create drawings. All the best.